Hey y'all, I am sitting in my bathroom and I'm getting ready. My eyes are so puffy because I had two dogs show up and kill silver my chickens and I was crying while I was burying them. I know that sounds silly, but it was those two little fuzzy chicken, mama chickens that lay, they, um, well, they actually hatched some of all the girls' eggs and they got the mothers and the babies. And I thought they worked so hard, you know, and I just was crying for them. I just felt terrible while I was burying them and it was raining. It was yesterday morning I'd taken the kids to school, so it was raining. <laughs> and I was just out behind the chicken coop, burying them and crying. And anyway, one little baby was left. So I went to Crazy Eight Farms, if you have never been there, um, and they always have something. And so I said, hey, I need to come get some baby chickens after I get the kiddos from school. And so they met me there and I was able to get some baby chickens because one little one was left and it was cold and shivering and I'd bring it inside and I would hold it, you know, but I couldn't. And I felt so bad it lost both its mamas. I know, didn't I come on with some great news today? <laughs> I know. But anyway, I said, well, at least I can do is get somebody for it to lay with and, and be a companion with. So I ended up getting three, six more little baby chicks to go with it. And when I first put him in there, I had, he had been laying under his mama's wing, you know, but I had to put him in a cage because the other chickens won't be nice to him or her. I just say in him. I don't, I don't even know what it is yet. Wasn't but a couple of weeks old. But anyway, um, it was just alone and I felt terrible for it. So I found them and I'm straightening my hair. I'm getting ready to do a video, guys, and I'm going to be bouncing around. And I'm, This is just me coming on here, yakking with y'all, getting ready. But anyway, I went and I felt a little better when I got him some companions. And first, he ran from them in the big old... I have them in a huge watering trough with some wood shavings and food and a heat lamp on them. And I put a cage top over it so some of the big chickens can't get in there and mess with them, you know. So anyway... First thing, the little chicken that was Survivor, it, it ran, got in the corner, and then just a few seconds later, it was like, well, I don't know. And before I had gotten all the food and water, and I had him a little blanket in there. <laughs> I know I'm silly. Um, it had gone over there and laid against some like, okay, yeah, I got some buddies. And so I felt a little better about it. But anyway, my eyeballs are so red and puffy. Uh, uh, just because I was crying so much. I just felt so bad for those mamas. And I, I wouldn't just throw them out. I said, I'm burying them behind the coop. Because they worked so hard to lay on those eggs for one total month. And they, they literally don't even get up to eat. You know, I would take them a little water and food. And so, and they had been being such good mamas to those babies. And the babies were almost as big as them, you know, because they're little bitty old bantams little silkies and they were the ones I could just stick my hand like that and they would run and I could scoop them up the mamas they were sweethearts and Ashley my granddaughter daughter named one of them sweetie pie because they were so sweet and you know when those dogs come up that's the ones that's gonna get God is the ones that's just pulling on your heartstrings right I know I know it so anyway <clears throat> All I can say is those dogs aren't going to be doing that anymore. No, they're not. Mm -mm. And y'all, we live on a, this piece of property we own on this farm. Y'all are always asking me this particular piece that our home is on and our chicken coop and everything and our cows is 100 acres. And like, we don't have a neighbor, you know. <laughs> so I don't know if people think that's a, a great place to drop dogs off. I just don't know. And so we get a lot of strays and things people don't want. And I just get so mad at irresponsibleness. You know, you don't have to have an animal. I just get so angry at that all the time. But uh, anyway, whatever. Don't matter how angry Amy gets, does it? They still they still gonna do it, I know. But um, I was getting ready because I'm just gonna do something simple for supper. But I wanna do that with y'all. It is called... You know Natchitoches meat pies, or they're famous down in Natchitoches, Louisiana. And my friend Bridget, she went to college in Natchitoches, where Steel Magnolia was filmed. And she'll take me down there, and she'll even drive me on the Steel Magnolia tour. And she just and her daughter went to college down there, or started college and went a while down there. And so 
it's a beautiful place and it's on the Riva. Yes, it is. And so anyway, we always eat meat pies when we go down there. And everybody up this way makes them too. It's a Louisiana thing. And I don't think it's just Louisiana. I think it's a lot of places, but they're so good and flavorful. And I have a recipe, y'all. <laughs> I guess you could call it lazy, lazy man's uh, meat pies. But it's called Natchitoches Meat Pie, and you make it in a big pie. I use a cast iron, that enamel cast iron skillet, and you make the crust on top, but you've got all the filling, and so you're eating, and it tastes just like a meat pie, but you didn't work near as hard on it, I know. So anyway, that's what I was going to do for supper, and I need a bell pepper, so i got to run into town. I'm going to go to the dollar store and pray they have a bell pepper. Do y'all do that? I literally pray, and like, God, I know this is so insignificant, but I need a bell pepper to be at that dollar store. <laughs> and you know what? There will be a bell pepper there. Yes, there will. Unless I've got some frozen down in the canning kitchen, because sometimes, you know, I'll chop extra. I don't here in the house. And I'm going in the canning kitchen. I'm going to take y'all in there. So anyway, y'all told me last time I fixed my hair straight and down like this that y'all liked it like this. So I said, well, okay, I'll do it again. So um, tomorrow's church. And so I thought well, I'll go on and wash my hair and get it all fixed up. Or, well, as fixed up as much as Amy does it because I'm not, I don't, I don't do it tons. No, I don't. So anyway, that's what I did. I need to cut me some more pieces that kind of cascades down. Don't y'all see? I don't have any makeup on. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd hop on here with y'all because I was planning on doing that. And yeah, I wanted to tell y'all y'all be so proud of me. Then I'll twist it up and get it off my face for a little bit while I'm getting ready, and before I get on here with y'all. But y'all be so proud because I went to the post office, yay! And I did get my mail and it's some packages and i think one of you had sent me some more pink bibles one of you sent me pink bibles and i think someone else jumped on and said they wanted to and i had given out my last pink bible that you had sent me at the last time last month when i went to the detention center and saw the girls and so that's wonderful because i think one of those packages is some more because every time i go there's another girl that that is in need of a Bible, and so I love handing out those pink Bibles, and I always put y'all's little notes in there that Amazon is seeing, you know, who it's from, and I tape that on the inside, so it's really sweet, and I thank you so much, and I think that's what it is, so I'm going to open that with y'all, and, um, oh, that cold feels good on my, my eyeballs that are, they're still burning and stinging just because I was crying over chickens. Sometimes I think we cry over something. You know, not necessarily was just those mama chickens, but I loved them a lot. But just everything comes to a head, and you just like, Bleh! you know. So mine was digging in the rain and burying chickens, <laughs> right? Anyway, my eyes are so burning. Yes, they are. But anyway, um, I'm going to make that meat pie with y'all this evening because it's so very easy, and that's going to be mine and John's supper. Easy, but so tasty. Especially if you love meat pies. And I love a meat pie, do y'all? Um, usually they're served with remoulade sauce, and I could home make it, but I wasn't going to tonight. Because I'm going to open the mail with y'all on a video. What else was I going to do? Y'all are like, I don't know, Amy. What else were you going to do? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, uh, y'all know I am, I, I, I'm not going to say I sell Pampered Chef. I just am a distributor because so many of y'all have that need. Hey, Amy, where can I get that? And my friend, my bestie from fourth grade sells it and her daughters do, her daughter-in-law. So anyway, her family and so. I thought, well, why not? So I did it, and so I just have that page so y'all have someone to get to. Well, they sent me all the fall products, and everybody else has opened theirs, okay? But I'm behind. I am always behind. Are y'all, y'all leave me hanging, please. I'm putting on some Synergence lipstick in case y'all are wondering. That is First Love, and it's a matte color, and it's really pretty, and it's my go-to when I just... 
don't have the energy to think of something fresh and new, you know, and I'm lining it with, it's called nude, but it's a dark color. Nude, but dark. So, I don't know that I'd name it nude, but I like the color. And I use it as my liner. And so anyway, I wanted to open that box of fall products and they've also sent me the Christmas products. So I've got three boxes to open and it's not a commercial. It's more of, let's just open it together and visit. You know, y'all say you miss my long talking and visiting videos. And I do too. I've been insanely busy and we'll just leave it at that, okay? Um, <clears throat> as many of us are, right, right. So anyway, I've been insanely busy and I'm just, I'm usually just hopping on here real quick to do, this is what I'm doing for supper night, here you go. You know, but, um, so I thought well, we can talk a long time while I open all that stuff. I haven't even looked in to see what it is and I've been seeing all the other people have already been doing stuff with their products from, from, uh, Pamper Chef, but not Amy. No, she's the behind girl. I'm always the one that's a day late and a dollar shorter. Y'all, I know y'all gonna make me feel better, aren't you? I'm just putting on some brown. Y'all are always want me to do instructional videos or how I do all this, and I think I am not the person to do it because I am always, always just don't really like how it comes out anyway. So, but anyway, I'm just on here visiting with y'all. This is Gwen Stefani's eye palette. Mine's messy, so y'all go and start talking, see? And I've used a lot of it, but it's pretty, and um, it's warm, real warm colors, and I like them. So anyway, I'm just messing around a little bit, and it's got a little sparkly one that's pretty. I use a lot of Cinegen skincare. I've got y'all stacked up on a lot of my skincare of Cinegen. <laughs> I know. And um, they put their skincare and a lot of their makeup products. So I use a lot of Cinegen makeup as well because I like that. Because a lot of times um, I may put it on and sleep in it, you know, because it's got the Cinegen skincare in it. Or I put it on really late, you know, in the evening, and I'm like, eh, but I've already done my skincare under it, too. Um, so anyway, I don't know. I've got on this shirt in this picture, it looks red, but it's really rust color. Isn't that weird? I think it's my filter, but I can't. Anyway, I can't change it. It's really a pale rust color. Let me see if I can. Nope. So anyway. It must be on a warm setting. Anyway, it's not red, it's rust. But anyway, what does that matter, right? I know. Move along, Amy. And let's see, I'm thinking about maybe this navy. This is Cinegen's eye color, and it's navy. And I like it, I like it a bunch. Yes, I do. I need to do some. I use Cinegen's, uh, Mocha Java, this is an eye color. Cream to shadow is what it's called. But I also use that to contour my cheeks. And I kind of come middle to upper ways of my ear because the older you get, you need to contour higher up. <laughs> to offset the sagging, right, I guess. Anyway, and then I blend that in, but don't go past the end of your eyebrow blending. And anything left over, I'll try to Chisel my chin back out. Try to chisel it back out, right? Oh no. I know. Silliness, right? And then I have their I have just a sparkly little rose dust, but I also have I think this is a toasted rose um blush. And I just do little bitty dots and I kind of just tap them in like that. Like that, like that. And so, yeah, I'm gonna run to the dollar store, see if I, or look in my can of kitchen, see if I can find some bell pepper. Because in that meat pie, you go on and cook your ground beef and you do bell pepper and onion and some Creole seasoning. And then we make this soup 
super simple crust to put on the top. Yeah, we ain't don't make it. We just use it. And but it's it's super simple. But one of my most favorite pastries of all the time, if not my most. I'm trying to show you, I'm just lining my eyes with this blue navy. I love the color of Cinegents's, um Caribbean or Caribbean, depending on how you say it. It's also an eye creamy color, but I don't think they make it anymore. I've looked several times, and so I've used it up. So I'm like, well, I'm just gonna use this navy. I'm gonna fall in love with the navy. So that's what I'm doing. I'm working on falling in love with the navy. So anyway, yeah, I thought we'd go down the Cannon Kitchen and we're gonna open up all those Pampered Chef boxes if y'all want to. There'll be that one person say, quit doing a Pampered Chef commercial. And I'm thinking, all you have to do is scroll. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to watch this. I'm not, I'm just visiting. Y'all are like me. We're lonely. We want somebody to lift us up and make us feel good and, and, and visit, right? I know. I know. I agree. I've got so many, I've been answering so many um, personal messages y'all have sent me on Facebook. And, oh, that is so time consuming, but I'll find some and I just, some of them I want to share with y'all. I need a lot more time in the day. And I'm always asking y'all y'all's recipe for time and nobody, no one has shared a recipe for time with me yet. <laughs> About the best recipe I know is ask God to manage your time that's the only thing that's worked the best for me is god managing my time and he does a fabulous job and i'm so thankful I'm so thankful yes i am see when i tie it up it kind of gives it a little bit of a curly curl sort of you know i don't know i don't know <coughs> like i say i don't <coughs> i don't um profess to be a professional with this this is gwen stefani's um Hope that's not upside down because I can't see. But anyway, it's also her eyebrow pencil. And I love it because it's it's um flat, almost like you're doing hair brushes up, you know, just one little hair at a time. And this is what you're supposed to do. I have learned. You see how I put this pencil right up against my nose and it touches the end of my brow here, right here, the beginning of it. It's perfect, okay? If there's a such thing as perfect, cause there ain't, right? Okay, if I do it on this side, I don't know if y'all can tell, but there's like a, a tiny little gap between there. Like this one doesn't go as far in as that one, and it's supposed to be lined up if you do like that. So what I do, since these go straight up and down, I add to it just a little bit, that little gap. Okay? And now, <clears throat> of course, I'll you know, finish out here, but I'm showing you what I did. Now, it makes this one look just rounded because it is, and that one's squared off. And some people don't like that squared look. I, I tend to like it. So I'll just come here, and I don't add to it, but I just make it go up like that too, okay? And then <clears throat> I have heard so many people say this um, that sell Cinegents. Cinegents, um, Lisa... Mistress Lisa Tippin Morris, she was the one that got us all on the sentence here in Northeast Louisiana. And she still has videos and she is so into it and she's she's fun to watch and you'll learn a lot of techniques from her. Anyway, and then I her Beverly Bennett, who I went to school with um at West Monroe High School. Whoop whoop. Anyway, she started doing it, and then I started doing it under her. I used to be a distributor. I didn't do any parties. I just did it for my friends and family, you know, just so. But um, anyway, um, they said, I know, I go way off just to tell you one thing. They said your eyebrows are sisters. They're not twin sisters, okay? And that is so true. You know, they're not the same. Like this one points up more, so I add a little bit of a point right here, just, you know, to make it point up as much as that one, or I try to, okay? And then my hair comes all the way down here and almost wants to circle around here, and it then that's going to start dragging my eye down, and I want it to be up, you know? So I don't highlight those, or I don't 
darken those at all. Just kind of, kind of go out from there, okay? That's just what I do. And I've always picked and said, yeah, mine aren't sisters or twin sisters. They're more like cousins or they just kind of meeting each other on the road, right? I mean, mine are totally different. And when I was young in junior high, mine were huge, big, 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 big. Um, they didn't meet in the middle, but they were huge and big. Uh, they looked like Brooke Shields, but I didn't look like Brooke Shields, but they were big, big, thick. And I have plucked on through the years, and so then they just like, oh, okay, that's what you want. Oh, I did. And now I'm like, where are my big, thick ones anymore? You know, I know, we're silly. We always want what we don't have. We want what we don't have, I know. We're goofy, goofy. That is called Control Freak. <laughs> Isn't that a name? And it's NYX, is that what that is, guys? I get all this stuff when I take Addie to Sephora or Ulta or something like that. And I'm like, oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? Because I'm never doing anything like that. I'm just out here on the farm. But Addie's got me to going into stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, well, that looks neat. So anyway, it's kind of, it kind of just puts them in place. Sort of like hairspray or something. I used to spray hairspray on like this brush, you know, for your brows and paint it on there too. But I'm going to tell you that hairspray would just melt that eventually, which lets me know, hmm, what's that doing to my hair if it's melting that plastic? I don't know. Uh. But anyway, that's what it's doing. Let's see. I need some eyeliner, don't I? Is that all I got left, y'all? And I've got just a cheapy, I think it's made by L'Oreal. Yeah. L'Oreal. Y'all see, I've got a mixture. I may get something from Walmart. I may get something at the dollar store. I don't care. If I like it, I get it and I try it. And keep it if I like it. And I like this one. Sometimes I use this. And sometimes I'm in the mood for one that you kind of paint on. You know, it's more of a sharp line. And the older we get, we don't need a sharp line, do we? But sometimes I paint that and smudge it a little bit. But anyway. And when I get on video with y'all, I kind of have to put my eye makeup on fairly heavy. Just so it shows up in the video. Or so my eyes show up in the video, you know. Let me get my mirror back over here. I keep moving this mirror right here so I won't be leaving y'all in the video. And... Do like this. John, it finally rained. Thank you, Lord Jesus, it finally rained. I was burying chickens in the rain, but I was thankful for that rain. It's not raining. Oh, at least a month. We had a burn ban here. We've been feeding hay like a month earlier than we normally do. So we're very thankful for that rain. And um, anyway, why did I mention the rain? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, it finally rained. And John had gotten a disc, a 14 foot wide disc. He's been so excited to use that to disc some of the pastures that we plant ryegrass in, winter rye, that um, I have to get that out of my hand, that uh, the cows can eat on. It kind of gives them a break from the hay, you know, hay and grain. And so the winter rye, it helps you to make things last. And it also, um, <clears throat> Kind of nurtures the grass that's not growing anymore, you know, kind of fertilizes it a bit. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. And the cows love to eat it. And the deer, they just love, love, love it. The mamas and the babies, they just stay in it all winter. And we enjoy watching them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not a deer hunter. No, I'm not. I don't like to put so much hairspray on my hair because it starts making it dirty before it's time, you know. So, But my hair just wants to go... Flat, flat, flat. Okay. Size up. That's what I got last time I went. One time I was using Gwen Stefani's, but I about used it up. Mascara. Whatever mascara, I go on a bunch at a time. That's what I like. I, I was in high school in the 80s. So, during that time, my mother, during she was in high school 20 years earlier than that. Or, I should say like 19 years earlier than that. And she would wear false eyelashes. 
And then, I guess, you know, you don't do what your parents do. I don't know. Aren't we goofy like that? We're so silly. So, it was just you sat here and you put on a ton of mascara to look like false eyelashes, right? Well, now, 20 years later than that, or more, we're not talking about how more, right? Now, it is back to do false eyelashes. And every once in a while, I'll get in the mood to do it. But my eyes are already poofy and and burning and I even slept last night and they're still that way because I just and I was crying and doing that and I was like man I don't have time for this I ain't got no time for this you know it was just like I don't know I couldn't help it it was silly 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 but I couldn't help it so yeah in high school we would just put on tons of Mascara, mascara. Yes, we would. And we'd even stick it right out here on the end, trying to add to our lashes. Ooh, and have y'all, do y'all have those um, eyelash extensions in? I have many friends that have those put in, and they look really pretty. But then I heard people say they have to go back so often to get them touched up and I don't I don't have that kind of time like to dedicate to just you know ooh I've got to go get my eyelashes touched up I just don't I just don't have it this week I take my daddy to the doctor and I've been picking kiddos up from school and y'all I need to get foot surgery I have a bunion on one of my feet. This, the doctor told me it's because my feet are too flexible, or they're very flexible, maybe not too flexible, but they're very flexible and it will cause bunions on your feet, which is, um, it's my big toe and it's just like a, under the skin, it's a bump, you know, and it, it pushes on your toe, it's very painful. So anyway, he's going to remove that and he has to sort of, put my big toe back in place kind of with a pin and he said it's six to eight weeks and they were like have you got somebody to help you for six to eight weeks i was like oh <laughs> we had trouble but i found one of those scooters that you're let me show y'all what i'm talking about it's a, whoop, 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 about to fall over. it's a scooter and it's kind of up like this where you do it like you put like this i even saw a girl shopping in walmart with one, I was like, ooh, yeah. So anyway, I found that. I'm going to order me one of those. Because y'all know me. There's no way that I can. And you just push it around, you know, and it's got wheels on it. There's no way I can be laid up for six to eight weeks. There's just no way. In, it, it just isn't possible. It's not possible. So anyway, um, I'm going to get me one of those. But I'm not going to be able to drive. And that's going to be, whoo. But, uh. Anyway, and I go back November 14, and so I'm going to ask him, can we at least wait on the surgery till after Christmas and see, because I've been dealing with this foot hurting for, it started when I worked at the veterinary clinic and I was on my feet all day long, um, like nine and 10 hours, you know, and then still came home and cooked supper and all that good stuff. And it started then, and I didn't realize it. I just thought my feet were hurting, you know, because I've been on them all day. I didn't realize I actually had a problem starting, and it was just on one of my feet. So anyway, yeah, it's been going on a while, so why not wait till after Christmas now, right? <laughs> right. You'll see how I put on just more and more and more. Make my eyelashes get long. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, now. Y'all are always wanting me to do this, so I just did it with you. So, yeah, you're like, oh, wow, okay. I see why you hadn't done it before. 